Uh, well, first off, congratulations on the film. Thank you. I, I uh, just finished, I sent a car, I only finished it about an hour ago, an hour and a half ago, so I watched it this afternoon, so it was perfect kind of timing. Oh, wow. So it was, uh, it was uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, so uh, congratulations on that. Um, I was just talking to Cara about the, the kind of uh, so many reasons why you want to get involved in a project like this and a story like this and a character like this. But for you, I mean, when you when you first got this and you and you read it, it must have been such a great experience to read it. But what was it about these characters and you, and Maggie and the whole kind of the, the whole piece, if you like, that kind of spoke to you and you you were wanted to get involved? Yeah, I mean, I. I feel like someone pointed this out to me recently. I guess I love a good period piece. I don't, I, and I think that it's, um, it's very rare to come across a period piece that um, really highlights women in like a very layered way. And um, that really intrigued me. Um, also the film is very female centric. Uh, we have a female director and female producers. And obviously it's about these two young women and, um, and and obviously Maggie drew me a lot to to the movie. I I feel like I I don't know. I, there are a lot of aspects of her story that I that I can't relate to. But um, the one thing I, I I think a lot of people could relate to is that you know that lack of acceptance within yourself. And I and and I really, and like almost feeling out of place in your own body and in your own mind. And I thought that that was such an interesting character that I have yet to explore. So I was, um, that's really what drew me to the role. And Carl, Carl was telling us about the the, um, the black and white version, which seems to have done the, the festival rounds, but I saw the, the color version. How, that, that must've been a, a fantastic experience to see the film in, in black and white, because obviously I've seen it in color, but she was saying at Sundance and a few of the other festivals, it was in black and white. And I don't think anyone, apart from who maybe people who've seen it at the festivals knew it existed in black and white. I mean, what, what was that experience like seeing it in black and white? Cause it must've given it such a, such a different level of authenticity in some ways. Yeah, it was, um, it was really cool. I'd never done a black and white movie before. And when I met Martha Stevens, our director, she sort of said, she was like, I, that's, this is my vision is to make it black and white. So as we were filming, she had a monitor that would switch back and forth from color to black and white. So she could kind of see what it would look like both ways. Um, so we got to see like little sneak peeks every now and then while we were on set. Um, and it was, it was so surreal. I think that with a movie like this, um, having it in black and white, this is such a character piece that I feel like it really does highlight everybody's characters and you're not as distracted by like the surrounding details and elements of like the world, but the color is also so beautiful we had an amazing set designer and um yeah it's actually it's weird to, to like to hear people's different experiences from watching it in color and in black and white because it's also available in black and white as well on itunes or something like that but yeah most people are seeing it in color yeah i i, I really want to see it in black and white now i have this strange kind of thing to kind of see the the movie in black and white because I feel like it's it's it almost, almost I was joking with Kyle about Logan and Mad Max Fury Road about how these these black and white versions that kind of give the films kind of at such a different level and such a different distinction to what they are in color which is which is quite strange yeah it really is a whole different thing <laughs> um so uh, I wanted to ask you about Maggie I mean she's she, for an actress it must be when you get a script that's fantastic that must be great but when you get to play and get to perform this character who has such a rich kind of narrative and you know she has her flaws but she has her strengths at the same time and she kind of comes into this new town and it's kind of a lightning bolt in in iris's iris's life and i mean when you when you read her i mean what was it that kind of drew you to her what was it about her story and her her struggles in in, in many ways that kind of drew you to her and thought yeah i can i think i can i think i can sink my teeth into this there were there were a lot of things that that drew me to the role. I think a lot of it was um well one when i read when I first read the script, I had no idea about Maggie's background or i i there I was not prefaced with anything before I read the script, so I was just as taken aback by the events that unfold in the film as like a, a, an audience would have been when they were watching it and I was like, "Wow, this is such an interesting." way to go about um, revealing a person's, a character's identity and, and, a, and a person's secret. Because when Maggie comes into town, everybody loves her and everyone's drawn to her and thinks she's really cool and wants her to be a part of the group and a cheerleader and all of that stuff. And 
I was thinking to myself, how often do we, um, and not we as in you and I, but you know, maybe more small town places that are a little bit more conservative, like how often do we immediately judge a person by the, the baggage that they're quote unquote baggage that they're bringing with them or the history that they're bringing with them and not giving them a chance to uh, create their own narrative. And I just thought it was interesting. I, my hope for people who watch this film is that you have a chance to fall in love with Maggie before you all these preconceived notions come in and kind of alter your view of her. And I, th I'm, I was hoping that maybe it would force people to question their own beliefs. Um, I, I that at least that's what I was hoping when when you watch this film and I also think that um it, it was it was crazy because when I this film takes place in the 1960s um and it's it follows two young women who don't feel like they have a place in this world and one of them ends up running away from home and and there are pieces of the film where you almost think it's kind of silly that something like that would even happen you know, like a, a girl seeing two women together and running away and bawling to her parents. And you're like, this is crazy. Did this actually happen? Like, I can't believe that we lived in a world like this. But, you know, there was someone very, very close to me that, right, you know, she's in her, she's in her 20s now. But when she was a teenager, she ran away from home because she wasn't accepted for her sexuality. And, and, um, and that like really struck me that, stuff like that really does happen and stories like that really do need to be told because I think without stories like that not, we can't move forward so yeah absolutely I mean I was saying to Cara as well about the obviously there's so many uh fantastic themes and important themes and and the narrative is is so important even for for modern day as you touched upon then obviously in the 60s and now in, in modern day we're dealing with those kind of things anyway and it seems to have not gone away but it must have been great uh, in another sense to kind of step into the 60s and step out of kind of modern day and all of you as, as actors and, and filmmakers put yourself in the 60s and transport yourself in many ways because the, the production design is so good and the, the characters seem so well fleshed out as you say in that in that particular world it must have been great for you guys to kind of step out of you know mobile phones and the internet all that kind of stuff and, and really kind of put yourself into that world with those characters it must it gave such a great authenticity to the film I just wondered whether that how important that is for you as an actress that you can do that that you can kind of step out and, and you can be right I'm in this world now let's tell the story in the best way we can it definitely helps you immerse in the story like immerse yourself into the story and the character um and we also another thing that's really helpful is when you're filming on location we were filming in Enid Oklahoma and I mean that place alone is like a time capsule you know everyone lives in this like this beautifully preserved bubble and so that was really cool getting to work there as well and you really just got to settle in and and sort of feel how these characters would have probably felt and and I especially for Kara and I I mean we'd never been to Oklahoma before or you know lived there for a few months and so it, it also helped with our characters being like, God, I feel so out of place here. And this feels weird and, and new and strange. And that was really helpful too. And, and it also helped that um, Martha Stevens, she's just a freaking library of information. She knows anything and everything about the fifties and forties and sixties. And so that was really cool too. Absolutely. I mean, you, you touched on um, Cara there. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention her. I haven't just spoke to her, but you two on screen together is so it's such a fascinating kind of friendship and it's a real kind of legitimate really um kind of real world very sweet friendship between the two of them they kind of feed off each other so so well I mean was that an easy thing for you guys to 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 grasp but did, did the script kind of help or was it was you were you allowed to kind of play once you once you knew you both were kind of settled in both as your characters but also kind of together because on on the screen you two together are just it's kind of explosive in in some ways Oh, good. Thank you. That's so sweet. I, it was so effortless. I mean, I was a fan of Kara before I had even met her and, and she was a big part of me wanting to do the movie because I was a big fan and I wanted to work with her. And we met, uh, before I had the job, she had the job before me 
and our director wanted us to she wanted to see us together and so i went over to a little house in west hollywood and we all sat together and talked about the characters and and obviously martha liked what she saw and it was so effortless from the very beginning i mean she's such a wonderful collaborator and so talented and and put so much time and thought into into her character and and it was it was cool because all of the women on the in, on the movie we all lived in in the same hotel and all on the same floor and we just spent every waking moment together because we had we had no friends <laughs> it was just i was just all of us we would after work we would go to chili's and we would eat french fries and chicken and <laughs> then we'd start the day all over again and it was so much fun i it was it, we really did become one very big family yeah, it, it does. It does feel like that when you when you when you watch the film. Uh, I just wanted to touch on um, Martha very very quickly and kind of the the film when you've kind of seen it completed. I mean, it's it's a script that that tells these characters' lives and and, and flaws and all, as I said before, and and really kind of in a realistic way. But also, it doesn't kind of put a bow tie on the film. It, it deals with them in such a real and kind of uh, raw way. There's a there's a degree of authenticity to it, and that you know coming of coming of age tales don't always have you know quote unquote the happy ending that you might be expecting it was it was that kind of refreshing for you when you when you read the script and saw the final film of what martha was doing that it, it didn't come like that that there were flaws to the characters but also the film is very much you know realistic to to the characters and, and treats them in such a such a way and that the story is 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 realistic even though it may not be what people are expecting yeah, I think that I mean that that is a big reason why why I also wanted to do the film. It's um it's incredibly realistic and I think that um when I I think a lot of people when they when they initially see like the poster, the trailer for this film, they're going to be like, "Oh yeah, this is like a coming of age movie about two girls who find themselves and it's and at least the way I interpreted it was no, this is like a slice of life. This is a piece of someone's moment where there's going to be years to come that we're not going to know about, but at least we got to get to know them in this one small moment in their life. And, um, and I trusted Martha with that. And I feel like she definitely provoked that feeling in the film for everybody. She, from the moment I met her, she, you could just tell she had it together. <laughs> like she, she had a vision she knew what she wanted. She knew the movie she wanted to make. And there's honestly nothing more attractive to an actor than a director that knows what they want. And and you just get this crazy desire to just want to give them that <laughs> so bad. And, um, and so she was amazing. I never doubted for a moment that she wasn't going to create the movie that she wanted to make. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just as a just as a final question, then I mean, obviously you play a variety of characters over the years, but I feel like Maggie is someone that will probably stay with you for for a while. Is there is there something about her that you you're gonna you're gonna miss, or something that you you know you'd always kind of keep keep as part of your your makeup in some ways? Because she seems like she's a character that would kind of stick with you for for quite a while after you've you've kind of finished the fact. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I because there was someone so close in my life that had gone through something really similar um that that pushed me to do to do this movie um because i i felt like especially talking with my my friend about this she really hadn't seen that side of her life being represented in film and i saw it as an incredible opportunity to shine a light on stories like that and even though I don't have a story like that personally, I I was able to immerse myself and like walk in Maggie's shoes for that time, and um, it was incredibly moving and heartbreaking and 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 such a learning lesson for me. And absolutely, it will stick with me. Um, and I'm just grateful that I got the you know I got the opportunity to tell a story like that. And I hope I did it justice. And I hope that it. It, it brings more conversations to the table about acceptance and self-love and not judging a book by its cover. I mean, I, I'm hoping that it opens up a dialogue and hopefully more opportunities for stories like this to be told because they should be told. And yeah, I'm just honored and I, I would do it all over again if I, if I could, because it was really such a beautiful experience. 
it, it seemed it seemed like it. Uh, thank you so much for your time. It was a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Stay safe out yeah. there. You too. You too. Yeah. Thanks, Crazy Diana. Time. All right. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.